A line chart shows a trend of how values change over time. To set up your data, you'll list out the date or time values, which will be shown across the x-axis chart. I recorded the daily high and low temperatures of the city, so my first column will show the days that I took each measurement. Next, you'll record the data points that you measured at each date or time. I'll use one column for the high temperatures and one column for the low temperatures. Each column should have a label that clearly describes what you measured, as well as the units that you measured in. I measured in degrees Fahrenheit, but if I didn't include the units, someone could think the temperatures were degrees Celsius. Once your data is in the spreadsheet, you're ready to make your chart. If you want a head start on your chart, try clicking the Explore button on the lower right of the screen. If you scroll through Google's suggestions, you may see a line chart that you'd like to use. If so, you can click and drag to add it to your sheet. Then use the three dots on the top right of the chart to customize the look and feel. Sometimes the Explore section will not have the kind of chart that you want to use. In that case, you can select your data, including the labels, and go to Insert Chart. Google will guess which kind of chart you want, but you can change it in the drop-down box under Chart Type. After you pick your chart type, you can do some cool customizations. I made all of these charts from the same data. The only difference is the way that I formatted my chart in the Chart Editor. So let's explore our styling options. Chart Style lets you change the background color if you like. You can also smooth out the lines, and if you have missing values, you can decide whether to break the line or draw a connection between them. Chart and Axis Titles is where we can change the wording of the title. Pick a title that clearly explains what your chart is showing. Then you can make it bold or change the font. If you want to edit the title of the x-axis or the y-axis, you can just change the type drop-down to a different title. On the Series section, you can choose between different data point markers, and you can change the thickness of your line. In the Apply To drop-down, you can choose to edit just one series at a time. This way, you can hand-pick the color of each line. The Legend section lets you move your data legend to different sides of the graph. On the Horizontal Axis section, you can change the font size and styles of your time labels. Vertical Axis allows you to specify minimum and maximum values for your data if you'd like to narrow in on a specific range. In the Grid Line section, you can change how many vertical and horizontal lines are in the back of your chart, and you can update their color. So that is how to make a line chart. If you want a head start on creating your own chart, you can look in the description for a link to this Google Sheets file. When you're done creating one, check out our video for how to do it in Excel or how to make lots of other chart types. Subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks in Google Sheets and Excel.